Hey, what's up guys? Andrew here. Today we're taking a look at the new Asus FX53. This is a 15.6 inch gaming laptop with a Core i7 7700HQ, NVIDIA GTX 1050, 8 gigs of RAM, and a 256 SSD. The retail price is $800 and is available at Micro Center. So let's see if it's worth picking up. The top section of this laptop looks really good. It's made out of aluminum, however it's a fingerprint magnet, so just beware. The interior is made out of plastic, however you have these design cues here on the side that kind of look like the more expensive Republic of Gamer laptops from Asus. Now looking at the bottom side, it looks like you can just remove these two screws and pop this up, but that's not the case here. You have to remove all these screws, including one right here under the rubber seal. And now you'll have access to the internals. Here goes your classic 2.5 inch drive bay, M.2 SSD, two RAM slots here, only one's being occupied with 8GB stick. You can expand to 32 gigs. Your Intel dual band wireless AC7265, here goes your battery pack on top, they kind of had to squeeze it up here because of the DVD drive, and here goes your single fan lineup. In terms of build quality, there's a huge amount of display flex here, especially towards the middle, and the same goes for the keyboard flex, take a look here. I'm pressing down very softly here, and a little bit harder. Overall, Asus had to cut a couple of corners here and there in order to keep the price point low. Let's take a look at the ports here, on the left side of the laptop you got your charging port, exhaust vent, RJ45 Ethernet, full-size HDMI, two USB 3, USB Type-C, and your headset microphone jack combo. Here goes your SD card reader towards the front, and your speaker grills. And this side you got your USB 2.0, DVD drive, and your Kensington security lock slot. And towards the front of the laptop you have some status LEDs here for your power, charge, hard drive activity, airplane mode, and caps lock key. This laptop features a 15.6 inch Full HD TN panel. The color accuracy is poor, just like the other gaming laptops in this range. The sRGB coverage came in at 59%, and the Adobe RGB scored 44%. The side-to-side -side viewing angles on this laptop is actually not too bad for a TN panel. However, the vertical viewing angles are a whole nother story. Take a look here. Look how much it fades out. You're just going to have to sit at the perfect angle in order to get a good picture. This keyboard is actually pretty comfortable. You also get the red WSD keys, and the key trial is actually pretty solid. Overall, it's a great keyboard. The trackpad feels great, and best of all, it's using Windows Precision Driver, so everything's smooth like butter. The processor powering this laptop is the Intel Core i7-7700HQ, which is a quad-core KB-like processor that is extremely fast. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what you've been waiting for. This laptop features the NVIDIA GTX 1050 with 2GB of GDDR5. This GPU is pretty capable, you can play many of today's high-end games at 1920 by 1080p on medium to high settings. Here's a quick sample of Overwatch running at 1920 by 1080p. This is on medium settings, so I'm getting an average around 85 to 105 frames per second. You can kick it up to Ultra and get an average around 45 to 60 frames. Next up is Battlefield 4 running at 1920 by 1080p on high settings. You can expect an average around 50 to 60 frames per second. Overall, the GTX 1050, even with the 2GB of video RAM, offers great performance. My FLIR 1 thermal imaging sensor is still down, so I did not get a chance to upload any images, but rest assured I did not notice any major heat issues. And if you're curious about fan noise levels during gaming, you're going to get around 47 to 49 decibels. Because of the DVD drive taking precious real estate, battery life kind of suffers. I'm getting an average around 2.5 to 3.5 hours on medium screen brightness, and if you plan on gaming on it, expect around an hour. Hey what's up guys, Andrew here, test out the webcam on the ASUS FX53, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. The two bottom facing drivers towards the front have decent sound quality and they do get pretty loud, however the low end is very lacking, it's really missing that subwoofer. So here's a quick recap of the ASUS FX53, this laptop offers a great design that has an aluminum cover and an awesome keyboard with great key travel. But the keyboard flex is not that great and the TN panel is average at best. At $800 I would put my money towards the Dell Inspiron 7567 especially right now. At the time of this video, Dell is running a crazy supercell with the starting price of $699 for the base model with the GTX 1050 with 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 instead of 2 gigs like this model. Or better yet, you can step up to my preferred model which goes for $850 which gives you a 256 SSD, IPS panel upgrade, and a GTX 1050 Ti. That one offers a much better package overall. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to smack on that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.